So this time from the Thundercats 4-inch line, we're taking a look at Mumra in his mummified form. So we'll take a look at the back of the package. You can see here uh, the three languages to cut down on the packaging cost, I guess. Uh, printing up different packaging. There's a little blurb about the Thundercats in general and Mumra in specific. Uh, you can see the other figures in this wave, uh, vehicles and playsets. Now of course this is probably a must-have character if you're uh, if you're gonna have Thundercats. Uh, you want Mumra in both forms. Now I believe as a as a toy in in the um, 80s, uh, Mumra's mummy form was only available if you got the uh, whole playset, his tomb playset. Comes with a couple of accessories. We'll get to those later. Um, get them. We'll get to the other accessories later, but right now we're going to talk about his little cloak here very nicely sculpted uh, so that it covers most of his head and shoulders and arms and it does drape down and it will provide some support for the figure uh, if you want it to however he will at least my figure does stand if you get him in the right position it's nice that they molded it that way to give a little support to the character. Now this just comes right off. It's a nice soft plastic and it reveals mummy wrap mumra. And uh, you can see that he's a pretty basic figure. Uh, I do like the sculpt of it though. He's really scrawny and thin and uh, bent over like a desiccated a body would be. It's got very nice I like the head sculpt. Um, you know the, the eyes. I think they could have painted his teeth maybe. The wrappings uh, I think they're done pretty well. Um, it's just a you know, maybe a little highlights on some of the things to give it a little bit more definition. The wrappings, individual wrappings, some definition. But there is nicely detailed on there. Um, and you can see some strands that have unraveled on his arms and legs. So that's pretty cool. He still has the... Uh, Thunder Lynx magnet in the back that they all have. Uh, he's very limited in articulation. Uh, his head goes left and right just to the side. Really not even there. Um, I don't think you can even move him forward and back. No, they're no forward and back. Just side to side. Um, his arms do go all the way around. He rotates at the wrist, and he has waist articulation. And that's about it. You can get some pretty creepy poses like this, uh, but you are still very limited. And some of the figures, uh, because of the way they're bent in the package uh, might have trouble balancing out and standing up but uh, mine seems to be okay moving on to some of his other accessories much like Lionel uh, in this series he has a shield and dagger combo that uh, will grow and uh, change in power right, as he gets more powerful. 
So, uh, his shield is, I think it's called a scarab shield. I'm not sure. They haven't really named it um, in the series yet, but um, uh, in its powered up form, it has a more scarab like look to it. Uh, you can see here the sword clips right in and uh, it is the Sword of Plundar and uh, for some reason this does have the Eye of Thundera sculpted into it. The real sword should not have uh, because the Eye of Thundera was meant to go in there uh, but uh, never actually did. Now unfortunately Mumra here can't really hold the sword unless you kind of balance it in just the right way. His shield will clip on uh, to his hand somehow. Right there, you gotta watch the wrist there. Um, and there you go, there's the uh, sword, the shield clipped onto his hand and you can balance the sword in that hand um, but again it will it is a loose grip there it's just a balancing act really um, so you can have him wield the weapons like this that uh, he will eventually wield in his more powered up form one last thing the cloak here does limit his articulation um, in the arms to just a little bit back and forth so it, that is a little bit unfortunate uh, so I guess that'll be it for Mamra and uh, stay tuned for my next review, which will be on the deluxe version of Mamra, his more powered up version. And until then, I'll see you.